Hey, what's up guys? Today we are doing neck presses. Now these are gonna help build your upper chest. It's gonna help you get kind of that line right there between your chest, between each pec, so that you get more of that definition. You get more of the upper chest. It's gonna help you build overall size on your chest. This is awesome. You don't have to go heavy on this workout. So here we go. I've already warmed up. I just warmed up with 95 pounds. So we're gonna do 135 here. And I haven't done these for a little while, so we'll see how this feels. But like I said, guys, it's gonna be great for your upper chest. So if that's somewhere where you are lacking, it's kind of your upper chest, or maybe incline is just not something you enjoy doing. Um, you can jump on the slight incline is what I have here. So not a full incline. You could even do this on flat too if you want, but I'm on just a slight incline. And then this is only 135 pounds. So that's really all you need. You just need a moderate weight. And then we're gonna hit the neck presses. Basically I'm gonna bring the bar down uh, right about to my chin and go straight up. I'm gonna have a neutral grip. So here we go guys. So that was nice guys. Just did 10 reps right there. So feels good. So I'm getting a good chest pump just from that. Uh, nothing crazy. Also guys, quick physique update because I'm currently at about 12 and a half percent body fat between 12 to 12 and a half percent. So I want to show you guys kind of what that looks like real quick. All right, so this is with a moderate pump since I have been doing a little bit of chest. And I was doing some low rows earlier too to target my back. So this is with a moderate pump. So as you can see, my arms have a pretty decent pump. Chest is pretty pumped. I have been working on my abs, but abs are just all about diet. So, um, your abs will come in around around 13% body fat is when you can see your abs pretty well. So I'm getting closer to 12. And then as soon as you get to 10% body fat, that's when you'll probably be able to see the lines on your bottom abs. Depending on, I guess it depends on who you are because I hold most of my fat like right here. And then kind of back here is where I hold a lot of fat. So I don't hold much like on my arms or on my legs. My legs are pretty lean right now too. So yeah guys, this is about what? Between 12, anywhere from 12 to 13% body fat. Um, this is about what it's gonna look like. So if you guys have been with me for a little while, you know my goal is to hit 8% body fat within probably another six weeks. So that's the target right now is 8%. And we're getting closer. I was probably 16%. I didn't measure it uh, when I was first starting my weight loss again, but I was around 14 to 15% just about two weeks ago. So I have lost about 2% body fat just in the past two to three weeks. So, all right guys, let's hit another set of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of weight. Ugh. 
switch up. Definitely do these guys if you are wanting a different way to target your upper chest. The neck press is awesome. Remember guys, you don't need heavy weight on these neck presses because your elbows are gonna be flared out like this because you're coming straight down like right here. So you can't really get your elbows in very much when you're bringing the bar to here. So your shoulders are gonna be straight like this. Your elbows are gonna be out. You can compromise your shoulders by doing neck presses a little bit. So definitely go lighter on the weight. No need to put extra weight on there for this exercise. 185 for me is like, um, it's kind of like a warm up for me on regular bench press. So I'm, go I'm going pretty light. That's probably, uh, I'd say 70% of my one rep max, 60, 70% of my one rep max. So you don't have to go very heavy on these neck presses. So hit another physique update. This is this is really good lighting. I'm actually in my I'm in my home gym out in the garage. I turned the overhead lights off and then I opened the door. So I'm getting some natural sunlight coming in and I've got the dark background. So it's actually really good lighting. This makes me look probably a little better than what I normally look. So this is really nice. <clears throat> yeah, guys, this is about 12, maybe 12 and a half percent body fat, somewhere in that range. Um, I am a little bit dry this morning. Like I can feel my mouth is pretty dry. And sometimes when I'm dehydrated, like my ears, like you can hear yourself talk kind of loudly. It's like you get a bubble in your ears or something like so that's how I know I am pretty dehydrated right now. I've had like two bottles of water, but I also took some creatine earlier. So creatine always affects me. It always kind of dehydrates me because it puts, it basically takes a little bit of that subcutaneous water on your skin and it wants to bring it inside the muscle. So it just kind of, it just kind of dehydrates you. It takes water from other areas and it sucks it into your muscles. So that's another thing you want to pay attention to is if you feel dehydrated and you're taking creatine, you might either want to lower your creatine intake or increase your water intake. See so yeah, how guys, this is a, you know, a decent pump. This ain't, this isn't like a huge crazy pump, but it is a pretty decent pump. And it's about 12% body fat. So this is about what you can expect to look like at 12%. I do actually have a good bit of muscle. I'm about 180, 181 pounds right now. So I have about 164, around 164 pounds of lean mass. So um, that is a decent amount of muscle at my height. I'm 5'10", so yeah, I'm not even six foot. So I have a decent amount of muscle. <clears throat> yeah, guys, this is about 12, 12 and a half percent body fat, so. Yeah guys, drop a comment. Let me know if you think I should compete in the near future. That's uh, that's definitely on my mind right now. Definitely something I'm considering because as I'm getting in better shape, I'm seeing that 
I do have more potential maybe than what I thought I had. So let me know guys, drop a comment if you think I should compete. Um, I really like classic physique, but I don't have enough size to compete in that. So I'd probably be jumping into men's physique. So let me know guys what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.